tomorrow. It may have sunk in the bottom or in the middle there, but it's actually really, really gooey. There we go. And I've just popped a bit of Parmesan on the top. But I'm really excited and I want to share this with you. I think that is a very, very cute card. Good morning and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday. It is the 9th, I think, the 9th of June, possibly. And I hope you're all well. How are you doing? How's life treating you right now? It is feeling a bit manic here at the moment. I feel like I can't keep up with work. And it's I'm really struggling at the moment with every all my most of my family members are still at home like my mum, my sister and all that and so they constantly call i've got the kids at home so i have interruptions all the time aid interrupts me all the time anyway he's always popping in to see if i'm okay and all i want to do is work and it's so hard to just continue with work and sometimes like the kids might want to spend time with me but because they keep interrupting me, it delays me finishing work sometimes, or the job that I'm doing. So yesterday I said to Louis I would watch a movie with him. He had been asking me all day and I didn't finish work until tea time in the end six. I had so many deadlines for yesterday and this morning that I had to get done. I didn't pack up yesterday's work orders, so I need to do them today. But I have promised Louis I will have a lunch date with him today. We'll watch a movie, have lunch, and I'll work from the lounge this afternoon. So I've got to try and get all my jobs done this morning. Let me know if any of you are still working from home or if you work from home anyway, do you get that? Do you get that feeling of trying to work and having all the interruptions? So this week is a busy week for me work-wise. Holly is moving back to Guildford to her uni house at the end of the weekend. Um, although uni is no longer on, they're still renting the house. They've got it until July. And so they're moving back for a few weeks um ready to move into their next house to start the next year so i kind of want to spend some time with holly as well so there's lots going on um lots of juggling this week i've also got some new meals planning as planned as well so really hope you enjoy today's video i've got all my admin out the way and i'm now packing up orders i have a huge list of orders to pack from the weekend i didn't get a chance to pack them yesterday um, so I'm doing that and I'm watching some scrapbooking videos. I've taken part in a like video hop. Uh, Laura Rumble invited me and that's what my scrapbooking video was about the other day. And um, I'm just watching the other videos in the hop. Do you watch many scrapbooking channels? Let me know which YouTube channels you enjoy watching that do scrapbooking um, videos nearly done with my packing of orders i'm just packing up a very special kit um just packing up that one there a while ago somebody contacted me asking if i could make them up a particular theme in a particular color one-off kit so i'm just going through finding loads of bits and pieces to fill this box to make that special box up for a very very lovely customer so i'm doing that now so if ever you wanted a particular theme or a particular color let me know and if i can do it for you i will before i go and have movie time and lunch with louie i'm going to make my nan a quick card because it's her birthday next week and i really really need to get this in the post i'm going to be using some bits from this month's kit I've used my favourite punch and I've added this pink paper. This isn't from the kit, but I think it goes really well. And I've just got a little bit of a decorative edge and I'm going to cut around the edge to leave a little bit of a border. I've trimmed down the bottom piece from the embellishment postcard. I'm going to add that at the bottom along with the arrow. I'm just going through some old stickers for leftover from previous kits to and use. And I'm going to write that and get that sent today. Before I send off my nan's card i just thought i'd show you this is my first ever planner and i bought this in disneyland in california in 1996 it's definitely seen better days but um it feels very special so this is where i keep all my addresses and it used to be all my old telephone numbers and i've even got old work stuff in here there's so much stuff but this is where i keep all my written addresses and the first page i turn to is this and that was holly's first ever scan appointment 4th of jan 1999 at 10 15 in the morning it's quite sweet and for lunch today i've got toasted homemade sourdough 
and then I've got some salady bits, homemade hummus, 100% uh, fat free yogurt, sweet chilli and leftover sweet chilli homemade fries. Come on. I am making risotto for the very first time. I've never made risotto before. It's going to be a white wine and pea risotto and this is Holly's recipe. Just starting off with onion and garlic. I've got like half a medium onion and two cloves of garlic with a little bit of oil. I've got the kettle on to make up some veggie stock. I've got quite a lot of, um, what do you call it, risotto rice in there because I'm hoping for extras as I would really like to try and make arancini balls tomorrow. So I've got more than I would usually need. I'm just going to fry that off just a little bit and then I'm going to start adding the stock. I've made up 500 mils of stock. I've used a store, ooh, a Noor stock cube. Thank you, Abe, just turning that down. I've added stock and I'm gonna let that cook down a bit. And as it starts to dry and the liquid disappears, I will keep adding more stock and keep stirring it. I think this should probably take about 20 minutes or so. I'm just gonna add some wine. Probably about a glass, maybe three quarters of a glass of wine. Holly, how much wine do you add? A lot. A lot more than that. I don't know, I like it to taste really wine. -y. But you said to add the wine at the end, didn't you? Yeah. So would you have added more than I did then? I would have more liquid in general. Okay, in so add a little bit more wine. I've got some more stock to pour in as well. Yeah. Okay, so would you add more stock at this point? Yeah. Okay. Like that? Yeah, that looks better. Cool. And then keep adding it so it looks like this. Yeah, just keep letting it cook down that simmer. And then add a bit more? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. We've added more wine, two more stock thingies and some peas. Holly's about stock to throw in some chilli. Well, I've added a couple of teaspoons of garlic salt and some onion granules. Holly's put some chilli flakes in and it's tasting amazing. Definitely really do nice. the taste test. I'm looking forward to this. Me too. This looks so yummy. I'm fully vegan today. Morning, welcome to Wednesday. It is already half past ten. I have just been editing today's vlog and I am now starting on my admin jobs. I've got a lovely little to-do list today that I need to work my way through. I did take time out yesterday. Well, when I say I take, took time out, I did spend some time in the lounge. I worked from the lounge and Louis and I watched Grave Encounters 2. We watched one the other day at the weekend together um, and he wants to watch something with me today. So I'm gonna try and get as much as I can done this do this morning to do that with him watch that with him later and I do need to work on kit jobs so that should work out quite well um but that's what I'm doing today the risotto was so good last night really really yummy I fell asleep on the sofa last night Aid woke me up about 11 and said right everything's closed up let's go to bed we always go to bed at the same time by the way I know lots of people go to bed at different times but we always always go to bed at the same time um he said that Everything, he'd done everything, everything was ready. So I went upstairs, I've come down this morning and the risotto hadn't been put in the fridge and I was going to make arancini balls today. And you have to be so, so careful with rice, so I'm not risking it. The rice is going in the bin, so I'm a bit gutted about that, but I should have maybe checked. Um, but at the same time, I keep gaining weight. I'm another two pounds heavier this week. I had lost the two pounds and now I've gained it back. And I've just been so good. I haven't baked. I've barely eating any crap. I'm not eating cookies or anything like that. Um, I just, just can't seem to shift it at the moment. So um, I'm, maybe the arancini balls aren't a bad thing. We're going to do wraps tonight. I've got some chicken still left over from Sunday. I've got wraps that need using up. So we're going to have um, chicken salad wraps later on. It's been a really, really long day. I haven't barely left my desk. It's been full admin, it's been newsletter, it's been working on future kits, emailing the graphic designer, doing blog posts for the next week, um, all that kind of thing. And now making dinner. 
it's after six o'clock. I'm just dry frying onion and yellow pepper. And I'm gonna add chip seasoning and some blackened occasion. And I'm gonna shred this roast chicken that I roasted a couple of days ago. There we go, nice and quick, ready to add with wraps, with whatever you've got in your fridge. Cheese and salad for us. And sweet chili sauce. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. I'm starting the day today with a lemon drizzle cake. I'm on coffee duty and I just had a thought, Holly's leaving in a couple of days. So um, we've only got her for a couple more days. So I figured I'd make a cake that everybody in the house likes. I'm gonna get this lemon drizzle on. It's going to be vegan. So instead of eggs, I'm using our pro vanilla yogurt. Got my recipe ready, which I will also share with you. And I forgot and I put the dishwasher on, so excuse the noise. I love a recipe where you throw it all in. So I've replaced the eggs with the vanilla Alpro and I've added extra baking powder. And you mix until it's a lovely smooth cake batter. And I'm gonna pop that in the oven for half an hour on 180. This cake has seriously dipped. It's the first time I've made this without eggs. So it was a bit of an experiment. The other cakes I've done it with so far have been fine. Um, however, I'm sure it tastes nice. I'm stabbing it with a fork and I'm going to add the lemon drizzle. The important thing when you do a lemon drizzle is it needs to stay in the tin and it's still warm as well. Can you see that squirrel? He's stealing our strawberries and sat eating them. He's having a lovely breakfast. So this is the cake. It's definitely sunk in the middle. But it looks good. I've sprinkled it with caster sugar as well. And it looks very good and it smells yummy. It may have sunk in the bottom or in the middle there, but it's actually really, really gooey. It's a really moist cake. It actually looks almost like it's got syrup it's so in it. Moist. Do you like it? Mm. One thing Holly said about the cake was that it was more like pudding in that how moist it was. I know that's not a nice word, I'm sorry. It was really, really good. And actually, although it didn't look as nice as the usual lemon drizzle I'd make, it tasted even better. It's so good. Anyway, I'm working in the lounge now, got the TV on and I'm packing treat bags. I haven't actually started yet. I've just started making my piles. And I've got all the little stickers here, I'm ready to start putting them in the boxes. Yeah, it's dinner time. I'm roasting off a whole load of peppers, red onions and garlic with a little bit of oil and we're going to make a pasta sauce. Just going to whiz the peppers and everything down with a little bit of about a quarter of a tin of tin tomatoes. Whiz that down and transferred it. Added some wine and I'm going to add the rest of the tin tomatoes as well. I've got linguine in and to the sauce I'm going to add Salt, pepper, chili flakes, onion granules, and garlic salt. So mixing in a really good dollop of cream cheese. I'm using Philadelphia. Grated some cheese into ours to mix around and then mixed it all up with the linguine. I did take out some of the sauce for Holly so she could have a vegan version and she added a little bit of Alpro into hers to make it a little bit more creamy. There we go. And I've just popped a bit of Parmesan on the top morning it's friday and it's felt like a very long week this week i forgot to tell you yesterday my kids are both my number one critics when it comes to my food they don't sugarcoat anything they tell it how it is louis went to have a slice of that cake last night he hadn't tried that lemon cake and he came in and he was like that cake he said that's the best cake i've ever eaten and he's asked if i can bake one cake every day um, so it, although it sunk, it was really, really good. And for the kids to really love it, I think it's all gone now. I don't think there's any left, which is unheard of. I quite often end up throwing the last bit of cake away. Um, so it was a winner after all. Anyway, today is Friday. Um, Aid's back to working Fridays again. So I've lost my help on a Friday, but that's good because that means things are slightly getting back to normal. I really need to start kit packing this weekend and I've still got quite a lot to do. I'm trying to get my admin done. I got up early to, I still hadn't edited the Disney vlog, which is going up tonight. So that's now uploading 
and I've got a whole load of emails to go through. I've got orders to pack. Um, I just had a text. Um, I didn't think my phone made a noise when there was a text. That's strange. I need to turn that off. I don't like noises on my phone. They drive me mad. Um, and the house is filthy. I cleaned the stairs this morning. I hadn't cleaned them. Poppy's shedding at the moment. Hadn't cleaned them yesterday. And the hair that came off them was so bad. But I noticed when I was working from the sofa yesterday, there's hair like on the footstool. So I really, really need to clean it. I want to share something else with you as well. Um, by the way, um, I think it was Julie commented about how I'm so open and on my vlogs. I'm not very good at hiding things. I think I always was when I was younger, but as I've got older, I'm not very good at hiding. So if I'm unhappy or if I'm really, really happy, um, I'm just that way. I, I'm, I don't seem to be able to hide things anymore, but I'm really excited and I want to share this with you. For years and years and years and years, my family have all spoken about going to Florida with us. Um, my sister went in 2012, but our trips only overlapped by four days and we met up at SeaWorld. They did come and stay with us in our villa and then we had a breakfast together and that was it. And the kids were really tiny then, that was 2012. And she's always been talking about coming since. My 40th birthday, five years ago, all I wanted was for my family to come on holiday. My mum's always talking about coming, my brother's always talking about coming. My 40th birthday, all we did was sit around the table and plan a trip. That's all I wanted to do. I gave them notebooks, we had like a great big family meeting. It was so exciting. We worked out a budget so that everyone could save. We talked costs, any questions anyone had and it never happened. And it's always, my sister's always wanting to save for the trip and then they end up going on a cheap, cheaper trip somewhere. My mum's always saying she wants to, my brother's always saying he wants to. Finally, they are really serious about it. I am so excited. I spent so much of my day on the phone yesterday. I was still working, but just chatting with them. I've been getting vlogs for them all to watch. I've been trying to recommend places for them to stay. We've been looking at huge villas with, thinking about like a little Disney stay and then um, a couple of weeks in a villa just so that none of them have stayed on Disney. My mum's never been to the States. My brother had a, for his first taste of Disneyland Paris um, a couple of years ago, was it last year? And I just want to go with them. So we are actually talking, not next year or anything, but like maybe the year after. And um, they're all thinking about putting a deposit down on a trip and I'm so, so excited. I don't want to get too excited in case it doesn't happen, but I'm really, really excited. So I'd love to know, have you done a great big family trip? Where did you stay? Did you do a villa? What did you do? I want to know all the details. We've never done a big family trip before. So this feels huge. Um, things like, if there's 10, 11, 12 of you, do you all do fast passes together? dining reservations, that kind of thing. I just I just can't imagine it at the moment. So any advice or tips you have on going with family, please let me know. I'd love to hear your comments. So just drop them down below, that would be great. I need to get my jobs done. I'm procrastinating, I'm getting involved with other things again. Do you do that too? I need to just buckle down, pack these orders. I've done a bit of admin and just get stuff done. Tonight, by the way, we're having a family burger night. So here's a little update for you. Do you remember uh, a couple of months ago we were talking about the birthday kits. Every year when it's the birthday of Lollipop Box Club, the month before I like to do a special one-off birthday kit to celebrate um, the birthday of Lollipop Box Club. Didn't do one this year because it was just happening around lockdown and there wasn't a lot of good news and it's supposed to be a celebrating kit. So it felt wrong. So I held off, but however, I had ordered everything in and just had a few more bits to put together for the kit. And I've decided, I think, that next month, later July, is the time to do it. Hopefully we will be seeing lots more improvements and I think that would be a really good time to celebrate. So not only celebrating Lollipop Box Club, but celebrating progress in 2020, hopefully. I've just had a delivery. I haven't had many deliveries this week and I'm gonna show you what I've received. A box 
full of cupcake stamps. These are exclusive stamps for us from Skull and Cross Buns and Emily has created us those cupcakes. Look with the little heart topper. Aren't they sweet? So these will be in the celebratory kits. I can't decide what to call them. I've been toying with names for the last few months. We've got Yay Day. We've got, um, I can't remember what else have I come up with. Just for you because I feel like it's a special gift and it's just for you or you can give it to somebody else and say just for you. Um, I'll show you the stickers. These are the stickers. I've also got um, notebooks in these as well um, with celebrate on. So I was also thinking celebrate the little things or celebrate little things. I might, I think celebrate little things is a really nice one. Um, tell me what you want, uh, tell me what you think it should be. So it's a celebratory box. It's not just birthdays, it's just celebrations in general. Um, cupcakes, cutesy things. Um, flowers hearts it's a really really pretty kit that's your color scheme there what do you think i'm actually thinking celebrate little things is a nice one leave your comments below let me know what you think and as always those kits will go on sale in the lollipop chat group first they're like my vip ladies um and gents we've got two men my brother and my husband um but yes so the kits will go on sale there first it will be in july um, but I'll keep you updated and let you know. I've got a friend's birthday today, a local friend, so I'm making a quick card. I've used the lemon paper from the kit and I'm stapling over um, the vellum over the top. I think it looks really, really nice that way. It kind of gives it like a dreamy muted look. I've taken one of the tags from the kit and I've used a little bit of, all oh, the bread's ready in the oven, a little bit of um, foam tape and I've swapped out my staples for green ones and I'm stapling the string at the top. This is my little stationary drawer next to where I create. So I've got like my tip X, I've got my tape runners and then I've got coloured staples in here as well. So I love swapping out the staples when I create. I do like this little drawer. It's really handy. It goes really, really deep. So I keep all my pins, paper clips at the back and I've just noticed I've got here, that's AIDS Donald Duck, his pairs. I've got here one of Holly's first pairs of glasses. I'll say first, she was maybe sort of seven or eight when she had those. They're so diddy. I've made two sourdoughs today. I made a small one for AIDS parents and a larger one for us. I really like the string at the top and I'm going to add a couple of the stickers from this sticker set as well. I think that is a very, very cute card. Quite pleased with that. Any card makers out there? How many of you still make handmade cards? This was how I started crafting many, many, many years ago. It all started with card making. Well, I'm going to wrap up my friend's gift. I bought a really nice ceramic bowl. I bought, I buy gifts in advance when I see things that I know people will like. This will go really well with my friend's new kitchen. I bought a really sweet little glass frame with like an antique silver edging. And we always buy each other candles. So I've got these little rainbow cookie Yankee tea lights. So I'm going to wrap that up. I have, I used to have a wedding business. I've got loads and loads of these plain white gift bags. Um, I've never tried to sell them on because I use them and decorate them and they make really, really good gift wrapping. So I'm decorating the bag. It looks really pretty. I've used a whole of the A5 paper from the kits on there. I'm just adding a, a little tag so it matches the card. And I like to wrap things in tissue paper. So in here, I've wrapped everything in lime green tissue paper, pop some more yellow on the top, and I have a really good stash of ribbon. So I've always got coordinating ribbons, and I've tied a big green ribbon on the top, and I'm just gonna make it look pretty. And there we go, I think that looks really pretty. Does anybody else enjoy other people's birthdays more than their own? Because I certainly do. So this is the finished gift bag. I think it looks really, really pretty. I did this little tag on the side and I added the string so it matches the card. I think that looks really nice. If you don't have plain gift bags, you can always upcycle old gift bags as well. I've decorated like Starbucks bags or other gift bags as well. Just pop some paper over, um, use tissues, ribbons, little tags. It's a really, really good way to reuse gift bags. I'm trying these. 
morning. I've decided to run this video over the weekend as well as I don't think I've filmed that much this week. Um, we're heading out for our Saturday walk now. open this box with you today I've had a delivery come um, I think it's going to be more Disney stuff I am currently kit packing now as so I've been terrible at vlogging because all I've done is work um, nothing else so I haven't actually vlogged too much so I'm going to finish this vlog in a moment but let's see what's in this box Ooh. We have got, I was able to order more stamps. These were the add-ons um, this month and they sold out so quickly. But thankfully the supplier had loads in stock so I was able to order some more. I have ordered some of these Disney stamps which are going to be on the website in the Disney section. Oh, I forgot I ordered these. They also do Disney stencils. I don't know how well, actually, let's show you that way. Isn't that cute? It's like a half Mickey stencil. There you go, that's a better view. Um, so these are gonna go in the shop, more of those stamps. We've also got more papers. The I've got Say Cheese 4 and Say Cheese 3 because they are different papers and especially for the class coming up, if you want more papers, these are ideal. So those are going to be in the shop as well. More stencils. Um, I also picked up more of the letters um, ready for the class. They would be um, available to buy as an extra. I've got more stencils. These sold really well as well. So I've grabbed more of those. Um, and the marker pens, the distress markers, I've had some requests for these. I've been out of stock, so I've got more of those. And this is what I'm really excited about. I had one of these a few years ago, and there were four left in the, uh, from the supplier, and I've bought all four. They are Disney planners, so they're suitable for your A5 planners. And basically, they have got... Um, 12 monthly tabbed dividers, 12 inserts, 72, sorry I've got a pigeon fight going on outside my window in the tree, 72 weekly inserts, what amazing planning is that, so you can do all your planning, those pigeons they're really going at it, you can do, sorry, all your planning leading up to your trip and your trip, how amazing is that, we have got, um, a dashboard page, an acetate dashboard, um, six die cut dashboards. We've got three A5 sticker sheets and a storage pocket. They are so cute. I've got one of these in my A5 planner as well. And I love it so much. It's so much fun. I think for me personally, leading up to the trip is just as exciting as the trip itself. So if you've got a trip that you've transferred over to next year, I think planning really helps with the excitement. I've got some paint for a customer request and I've ordered in these four add-ons next month. These are the colours. So they're going to be a little bit of a clue as to your add-ons next month and what's happening. I love those lovely, lovely bright colours. I love the Dilutions paints, they're so cool. Um, so I might list those ahead of time actually anyway. But that's my order today. So I've got to get that all on the site, which isn't going to happen right now because I'm kit packing. But when you view this video, all that will be on the website. I need to go make coffee and I need to film a creative video today. 
ready for tomorrow, which again would have already gone up at this point. Well, that's a lovely order. Create or coffee first? I need to hoover as well. I think coffee. How do you start your day? Coffee? Water? Tea? What do you have first thing in the morning? I just realised I'd completely forgotten to finish the vlog, so I really hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. You've ended up with a whole week. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I wish you a wonderful week ahead. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.